name is Roxana Soto. And this is Alia Altamirano. Um, and I recently graduated from the Baby and Me Tobacco Free Program. When I recently started, um, it was helpful to know that I was going to get the diapers as a reward for not smoking. Um, and every month we did the breathalyzer test and I passed and I got the diapers which helped a lot in this economy. When I went into my first uh, OBGYN visit with my doctor, um, she had asked me if I smoked and I said yes. Unfortunately I was a smoker, I didn't know I was pregnant. I was smoking about four, three cigarettes a day which I think is average, I think. Um, and she introduced me to the program and sent a fax right away to Judy which was easy for me and Judy gave me a call a couple weeks later and I was enrolled so it was nice to know that I had help. I chose to enroll um, just because since the doctor did ask me if I smoked and I said yes I felt bad that I was already pregnant about eight weeks and I had smoked with the fetus being so small I thought it was going to affect her so I was scared and um, I decided you know, to enroll in the program and then um, I knew they're right there and then I had to quit and after she was born and she was healthy you know you do get that sense to start smoking again but I had the diapers for free which helped a lot so that was a motivation <laughs> um, I don't think there's any greater encouragement than the doctor saying as soon as she's born she's healthy she's fine her blood test is fine her hearing is fine I think that's the most important that's I was worried about that even though throughout my pregnancy I really took care of myself um, but even if I had chose to smoke during the pregnancy or after that, at that moment when I knew she was healthy, it inspired me more to just not be a better role model, I guess. Um, I am glad I'm a non-smoker now just because I've learned how to deal with my stress. Um, as soon as she was born, it's really stressful with the baby blues and the changes, being my first child. Um, but I am glad I'm a non-smoker now because it was easier for me to, to not smoke and to not pick it up, to not crave. Um, so everything got knocked out at once. <laughs> I'm Judy Masters and I'm a nurse at Rio Grande County Public Health Agency and I'm Roxana Soto Martin's facilitator for this program. She met with me four sessions during her pregnancy and we talked about ways to deal with stress and tested her with a carbon monoxide monitor for smoking and she was negative each time she was able to quit. I just want to commend her for being such a perfect student and uh, being so successful with the program. She's going to be healthier and save herself a lot of money <laughs> by being a non-smoker. Her baby, who is a toddler now, is uh, going to have uh, fewer ear infections. She's not as likely to have asthma. She's just generally going to be a healthier little girl, and uh, that's a big plus and reason enough not to smoke. And because Roxana quit now, uh, she's less likely to have illnesses later that are related to smoking. Any woman who is pregnant is eligible for the program who smokes. This uh, program isn't designed just for women with insurance or without insurance or at a certain income level. Uh, if you smoke and you're pregnant, you're eligible for the program. You can get information about the program from Rio Grande County Public Health Agency at 657-3352. If you're interested in this program and live in another county, uh, just call your public health agency in your county and they'll give you the resources you need. Participating in this program can help you make good decisions and really take charge of your health and have a positive impact on your child's health.